Hello everybody and welcome to my video, Getting Tidier. I hope you're well and I hope you had a lovely weekend. So on the way back from um, the north of the country, we stopped at a place called Belton House, which is a really lovely National Trust house. So there's a couple of little videos of the little train that runs all the way through the park. There's a massive outdoor adventure play area lots and lots of things to do. I paused then because I wanted you to be able to hear my daughter playing on the massive massive xylophone. So it's a really lovely park and beautiful house and gardens, Italian garden as well. And then on to today. So you can see I've got lots to do in the kitchen. There are various things that were brought back from our weekend away, um, dishes from this morning, um, I, me and my husband uh, took my daughter to school this morning, came back and I'd got a meeting, you know I don't normally work on Mondays, uh, but I'd got a meeting with uh, a client at nine o'clock and I organised it so it was at the Tesco that's really close to my house. So that meant by the time I'd got back from the school run, I had about ten minutes um, just to pop down there, which is perfect timing because after I'd met with him, I then did all my shopping. So this week I did all the shopping in Tesco. So you can see me bringing all of the shopping in um, and I'm putting a coloured wash on here. My daughter's brand new dress, she managed to get some food down. So I'm putting a little bit of fairy liquid on that before I put it into the washing machine. Um, fairy liquid is just so incredible. Why use these stain removers when fairy liquid works so well? I'd gone, I'm having a few problems with getting the washing machine on at the moment. Uh, the button seems to be sticking, which is a bit frustrating because I think this is like the fourth washing machine that I've had since I've been married. So anyway, I put the load on. I've got a white load to put on as well, so I'll be doing that too. So you can see I've got all the um, shopping to put away. But then just when you think you can focus on one job... I looked and it looked like there was like all the liquid drop, dripping through to the bottom section. It's supposed to be for fruit and vegetables, but I don't use it because if any, if you have any leaks, it just pours onto the fruit and vegetables. So I tend to leave that empty. Um, but I looked and thought, that looks a bit orangey. Oh, what's happened? What's stuck at the back of the fridge? And can you believe there was a pint of orange juice that was right at the back of the fridge because the fridge was so full, it had frozen expanded cracked the glass so there was all glass and obviously then the orange juice then all poured poured out so just when I thought I could crack on with putting all the things away no I was having to take everything out so there are some things that um, were past the sell-by dates that I did need to bin and I really hate food waste as you know um, but unfortunately there was a few things that I just right at the back of the fridge and couldn't be eaten um, and then yeah all oh, this massive great thing with the orange juice so I managed to move the orange juice container to the sink so it all started to melt in the sink and then managed to mop up the orange juice from the bottom section it just was really a job that I could have done without, to be honest. I've got so many other things that I need to do, so many jobs outside, that the last thing I wanted to do was then have to sort out this orange juice disaster. So you can see the orange juice where it's sitting in the little tiny sink there. And then there's not many places for me to put all the shelf unit and everything that needed to come out. I haven't really got much space on the side at the moment, have I? Because I've got so many other things there. Uh, at least that hadn't kind of all stuck and become all like sticky and frozen. So I was at least able to wipe up quite easily and quite quickly. And I used one of my homemade cloths just to soak up all the orange juice from the bottom section. So that was good. So once I sort all this mess out and clear it all up, I'm then able to start on putting all the shopping away. Um... We're trying to eat sort of more salads because I think it's a good way to, for you to get like fruit and vegetables in um, to your diet easily. And also it just seemed nice weather to have a salad, to be honest. Also this week I've not bought any fish or any meat 
because my freezer is absolutely jam-packed full. So I decided not to buy any uh, fish, any, any meat or any meals for the freezer. But then I failed to get myself an ice cream. I thought I'd got myself an ice cream and I didn't buy any. And I th we often have an ice cream on a Monday. Um, I didn't buy any because I thought the freezer was full. And then when I checked the freezer, nope, no ice creams left. So after I'd done this, I then did some washing up and, um, well, did the wiping up first, put loads of things away. And then started cracking on with the washing up. Um, yeah, and I've got lots of food that needs to be put away. These things, in the, the, the two layers in the fridge are really awkward. They've always been really awkward. So you've got like a glass section in another section, you have to kind of put the two bits, like that bit and the other bit, you have to slot them in together. It's really tricky. I actually thought that I was going to have to ask my husband to come and do it for me. I'm getting a bit determined, though, in my older age. Um, like, there's some things that previously, I think it's also having a daughter makes me more determined. Because I don't want her to see that I'm constantly asking somebody else to do something. And not that she's there. She's obviously at school today. Um, but there was like another little thing later on in my video. I tried to put a lamp together, a little lamp for tea light. And I can't do it. And in the past, I would just have like taken that to my husband and said, can you do this for me, please? But instead, I wanted to work it out myself, which I did, which was good. Yeah, so um, my kitchen side feels like it's like absolutely crazy at the moment. And then as I was sorting through things, I then started also doing lunch. Um, so you'll see me prepare my lunch. And then as I was sort of part way through, my husband then called me outside to help with the tent. So not last weekend, the weekend before, you know, I went on guide camp and I used the big family tents. Um, we finally got it all completely dry, so it's ready to go away. It's massive. Um, it takes up so much space in our um, loft cupboards, but he just wanted me to pop out and just fold it. I do think that the kitchen is like the never-ending story. For those of you who have loved and watched that film, I often think of that name of the film when I think about housework. It's just on and on and Ariston. And I do absolutely think that those of you that don't feel particularly motivated, I completely understand. But even if you do 10 minutes every day, you will make a big dint into things. And my videos are normally 20 minutes. So even if you put my video on, listen to me waffling on about what I'm doing and then work for 20 minutes at the same time. Um, and then as soon as I've my video stopped, you can have a sit down and rest and have a cup of tea. Although I know some of you watch my videos after you've tidied. So you do like 20 minute tidy up and then you sit down with a cup of tea and a biscuit or whatever and sit and watch me tidying up and sorting out. I do often think of the person that said to me, like, not to double hand handle things. I do sometimes do that, take everything out of the bags, just because I like seeing everything on the side and then put things away. But I'm aware that that ends up taking extra time, doesn't it? So next up, I'm going to read a few of your recent comments. And thank you, as always, for your lovely comments that really do mean a lot to me. So we've got Shannon White, 845. The top of the cupboards, this is about the kitchen, clear does make your kitchen look so much bigger. Crazy how visual clutter makes a room look so small. I downsized a little over a year ago after living in my house for 26 years. I'd come to terms with what to actually keep that benefited me in the here and now. Very, very sensible. Very wise. I had to let go of my fantasy self and be realistic. I had hoarded away so much thinking one day I'll do this or do that. 26 years later, I had baskets, boxes, bins, cupboards full to the brim. All of it is gone now, and what I kept, I use. Included all the things I was keeping for special times. It was so freeing to just let it all go. Keep up the great work, you're doing wonderfully. What a fantastic story. I really loved reading that, and what an amazing job you did. Obviously, you were forced to make a change, but getting rid of so, so many things. You could have taken loads of those things to the new place and ended up feeling like full to the brim and all cluttered. 
but instead you made some difficult choices and how that's affected your life. Well done. Um, Moxie Girly on 714. Use those boxes to make a crafting station for your daughter, one for scrapbooks, etc., one for pens, materials, etc. Um, Therese469, is that Therese here? Therese from Belfast. Another great video, Emma. I could watch you all day. Oh, that's nice. Just write how uh, letting your daughter rest, camps and sleepovers take so much out of children. Um, yeah, that ended up being, because these mosquito bites, that really affected all her glands. So obviously her body was responding, having been bitten so much. And when the nurse practitioner looked in her hair, it looked like she'd been got all these bites all through her head. I'm just so thankful that she was right underneath the sleeping bag, otherwise she'd have had them all over her body as well. Um, LV Frankie, the sun is shining and your kitchen looks miles apart from what it used to. And now you have more time to work on the other parts of your house. I always start cleaning, decluttering on the easiest space for the quickest win to keep up the motivation. Thank you for that advice. And Mazzy also provides good advice. So Mazzy824, there's a saying which is first you have stuff and then your stuff has you. Wow, that makes you think, doesn't it? That's exactly how it felt when we moved abroad. We had to let go of most of our possessions so I could then start fresh, trying not to accumulate too much. What I love about your videos is the fact that they're real and honest. Thank you ever so much, Mazzy, for your wise words and thank you for your support. So, another comment. Um, I read, um, Brooke said, I read something yesterday that made me think of you and your onion process. Use reverse decluttering. Sometimes things feel sentimental or useful because they're there staring at you put them in a storage box for six months a maybe box perhaps at that time they'll lose their sparkle after they have collected some dust um and mazzy followed up with that and said storage is a good idea out of sight out of minds you'll probably find it can go completely you're so right if i forget what's in the box i can just let go of it and i would be able to but i know what i'd be tempted to do i'd be tempted to look inside the box um, and then see things that I really wanted to keep. Um, Nikki Ross from right up the top of Scotland. I can't believe the tops, the cupboards are clear. Wow, it looks so much brighter. It's nice to have a cleared off windowsill. Just imagine that you can see more into the garden. Try it for one day and see if you can do it for yourself to expand your views. Yeah, I do need to. There's things that I can get rid of that on that windowsill. Uh, there really is. Um, love it. By the way, just give the car seats. Yeah, give them away, she's saying. You just need to move them along. I had wooden boxes like those. Turn them on the side so the open bit is at the front and use it for extra books. Yeah, great idea. I love all your ideas. They're so good. Um, Sharon Mum also said it's clear on the top of your cupboards. I have a small kitchen. My storage on the tops of the cupboards is invaluable. I got around it by looking neater by buying some storage boxes that match yeah what i should have done is i should have had those cupboards done to the ceiling because we've got tall ceilings in this house uh because it's like 1920s 1930s house so they built these nice you know tall rooms so i should have had the cupboards built to the ceiling but you live and learn and um, kitty cookie also said much better on top of the units um and i just wanted to say Hello to Casual K44406 from London as a new follower. And also Joy Tingle7631, a new subscriber from North Wales. I think you are my only subscriber from North Wales. So thank you for joining. So I thought I'd show you how my greenhouse is getting on. So my beans are up. Um, also, the grasses that my daughter planted have grown. And you can see I'm running the water in the garden. So the lilac is full bloom. Um, my plant there is a laburnum, is about to flower as well. So this is sort of my working area, which is why it's quite untidy. And then I'm back into the kitchen. And I'm trying to get everything dry. ASAP, because for sure, in a couple of days, I've been saying we're going to have a heat wave, 
but I bet you in a few days it's going to start raining. So I thought it was an opportunity to get more dry. So I've got another load out on the line, all my coloureds, and I'm going to put another load on tomorrow. Um, so they'll all be dry. I've got so much washing to put away, you wouldn't believe. And you're right, the reason why I'm not very good at putting it away is because I have such limited space. That drawer of my husband's is still broken, so we can't get anything into it or anything out of it, which is very frustrating. So he's currently operating like this one drawer for all of his stuff. Um, and there's very limited storage in our room. So our room's a loft room. There's very limited storage. We've got the wardrobe and the chest of drawers and the spare room. Uh, but that spare room's a right old state. Can hardly get in there. I did need, I need to tell you, this will make you laugh. My daughter was talking yesterday about getting a pet. And I said, well, mummy and daddy haven't said no you know, you know, a, a no is is a possible, but you're not getting one while your bedroom is like this, and while the playroom is the way that it is, um, because there's like so much stuff in, everywhere. You need to get rid of some things before your birthday, and you need to get rid of some things before we even think about a pet. So do you know what she said to me? She said, mm, "Okay, I'll show you what I can get rid of because I'm gonna join you." on your decluttering journey. <laughs> that really made me laugh. I said, what did you say? She said, I said, I'm going to join you on your decluttering journey. I don't need all these things, she said. I can get rid of this, this, this. I was like, great. She's got a massive, massive container of Lego and I've got all the boxes. And so I really didn't want to let the Lego go because I want to match up all the sets, but that's going to take forever, isn't it? It really is. So you can see how lovely, and it's blue skies, and there's a little bit of a breeze. It's really, really lovely weather at the moment. Um, and my husband put the umbrella out, so we had lunch together outside. I just put the umbrella up to have a little bit more shade. And the neighbours next door have sold. So the house has been for sale for about, I don't know, three years, four years. They wouldn't accept any sort of offer. They had a few offers, but they weren't surprised, they weren't prepared um, to take any offers. And then, you know, I sorted out all the bookcase. Every time I walked past the bookcase, the top of the bookcase was annoying me a little bit because it was all such a mess. I had that plant sitting there, the plant that had mealy bug. So it was sort of things that were a bit sticky and needed to be sorted out. And I just felt like I could just tidy it up and clean it all. And then that little unit would nearly be finished. There are a few things that don't have a home. So there's a dragon that my daughter and husband have been making. It's one of those sets we made out of plastic and you put it all together and then paint it. I really don't want to put it in her bedroom because she's got so many things on her bedroom. But I'm sure it was on the piano when I moved it into the hall and now I've moved it back to the piano. Eek. Um, so yeah, I went, I sprayed a little bit of... Um, sort of cleaner spray um, just to try and get the stickiness off and then dusted it all. Um, there's a few things, yeah, the elbow grease I use. There's a few things that I look now and I, I, that I bought and I think, why did I buy them? So there's an elephant money box that sits on there and I bought that like over the course of the last year or so and I saw, I can't even think where I, where I bought it from, but I think it was for sale for about 50p and I just liked it and I bought it. And I'm not a fan of particular fan of elephants. Um, and it just takes up space, doesn't it? So I just cleaned the whole area and I moved some things to different places. And then I put things back in a way that I felt was clearer and neater. Well, that's what I thought anyway. So that nearly brings me to the end of the video. Um, I did so much work today that I've could, I'm going to do another video, which is going to come out tomorrow, showing you everything that I did uh, after this. So after I had my lunch, I did loads outside, I did loads inside. Um, so look out for the video that I'm going to be posting tomorrow. So thanks ever so much for your support, your kind comments and all of your ideas. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!